har ju köpt den där på... <skratt> ja, nu löper de in. Det är väl ett tag till, eller? Ska vi börja med den nu? Yes. And we're on, guys. Okay. Live. We're live. It's Saturday, the 21st of April. Sunny Oslo, Frogne Stadion, here in Oslo. And uh, we're about to kick off here from Oslo. What do you think, Anso? Um, interesting. Uh, it's going to be a good game, I think. Um, first game of the Norwegian uh, series. Yeah, so uh, this is going to be the first game from in the Norwegian series for the Oslo Vikings. Yes. I believe oh, yeah. the also on the Seahawks I played one game. I think so, yeah. Before, so uh, and um, the Vikings have only played one game, it but it's not the Norwegian league. So this is basically no. the season opener number 2 yeah. for the Vikings. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So um yeah, we had a discussion amongst ourselves here if we uh, were going to take it in English or in Norwegian. And uh, we kind of would like some feedback from you guys watching if if uh, what's best yeah. for you guys. Norwegian, English. Norwegian might be more natural for us th uh, since we are both Norwegian. So, um, yeah, you guys decide in the chat, <coughs> basically. Yeah, and then we have a uh, few guys I know that are uh, that are t looking from abroad, from Canada and from the States. So, uh, I mean, they would obviously prefer if it was in English, but uh, I mean, it depends on uh, what the viewers want. So, give us feedback on that. Yeah, please, in the chat. That would be nice. There's a chat under this video that um, that we read. And uh, and we can interact with the viewers, you know, have a real uh, good time here. Yeah, we're kind of loose on uh, on the rules. So uh, if if you'd like us to uh, mention some players, maybe on Osana, maybe on the Oslo Vikings that you'd like to hear listen more about, then uh, exactly, please feel free. We're yeah. uh, we're here for you guys. So uh, if you guys want to know yeah. some facts about a certain player. We know a little bit more about the uh, Oslo Vikings players than we do about the uh, Seahawks, but uh, we'll try and uh, fill in as good as we can. Yeah, I'm trying to get the the chat here up so we can view it, but uh, it's not working. Yeah, so as you might hear, there's a, a lot of wind today. Yeah. It's a lot of wind. It's coming from the right side of the field. So basically, uh, from uh, the west, yeah. Oh, don't quote me on that. I, <laughs> would, I would have no idea. <laughs> yeah. So the wind's coming from west, and uh, <coughs> but it's pleasant. I mean, but but it's kind of there might be a good. Uh, you might be well off if you have the wind in your back if you're gonna throw the ball a lot, right? Yeah, that could be a. I, I don't know how much house. If this wind is strong enough to affect it, to affect it, but uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Is it strong enough? I, I uh, yeah, man. Like I yeah, definitely. I used think so? yeah. I played a okay. little bit of quarterback, only a little bit, but yeah. uh, once you at least when you have the wind against you, yeah. it's a, a big factor, yeah. especially on the outside on the fades and stuff. Yeah. Then uh, the ball will drift for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. I mean, um, yeah, it is kind of strong. That's yeah. That's so uh, yeah. Okay, we're waiting well, for the. Yeah, we're waiting for the basically for the players to get out of the um, the locker rooms. It looked like they lined up for the coin toss, but then they uh, went back in. So <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of we could have waited a little yeah. bit to start, but um, yeah. I um, yeah. What let me try and right find the, the find thing. the chat up here. How many guys do we have here today? It's a pretty good turnout in the Yeah, in the crowd. stands. Yeah. Less than uh, last weekend, though. Yes. Maybe like 100 For people sure. here now. 
Alright, let's see. Chat, please work. Yeah, we have 40 people watching right now. Okay. And, yeah, let's see if we can do something here on the PC. This wind is messing up your hair. Yeah, I know. It goes Fuck. Kind of disheveled. God damn it. Yeah, and uh, sorry for cussing. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's PG-13, remember? Keep it kid-friendly. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, we have the stream here. What the hell is that music? Yeah, they... <laughs> 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 they, uh, yeah, they put up some music here. It's playing it some like uh, <laughs> questionable uh, tracks here in the field. <laughs> no data. Där. Det är fel sida. Vi ska s- okay. Oh, it doesn't look like there's... Uh, there's no chat? No. Chat. Help. Let's see if we can turn it on. Enable live chat. Okay, save. There you go. Yeah, my bad there. Okay. So. Now you guys can heckle us. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. Now. Countdown. Seven thirty-four. Okay, so we're about six minutes away from from kickoff now. Um, the teams are gonna come out from the locker rooms and. Uh, gonna have the coin toss so last time the Vikings they the third I think can't yeah it, can't, it was kind of weird they started no they started on yeah they defended with the Sun in their eyes I think and then went uh, towards the Sun first quarter okay yeah so let's see what they do here uh, a lot in Norwegian teams like to to defer because overall maybe they're stronger on defense. And that's uh, quite common. Oh look, cake. I'm from Brazil. Okay, keep it in English. Uh, yeah, the stream is lagging. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It looks like it did uh, look like it was freezing when uh, you opened it. In the yeah, I can, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's okay. lagging. The video okay. is lagging right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick restart of the stream and then uh, try and uh, see if we can get some less lag. Okay, be right back. Okay, here I go. Yeah, so we're back, guys, in uh, 
hopefully it's a little better right now. So we, uh, the Osana is uh, entering the field right now, and um, they're from Bergen, Osana is in Bergen. They, uh, they're known deep. to play hard actually, so... Uh, uh, they see. It's lagging pretty bad. Yeah, it looks like it's a bit laggy. Oh. Tusen tack. Tack. Yeah, it looks a bit laggy. Yeah, let's uh, re restart the stream. Be right back. How does that look? Yeah, it kind of looks better. Yeah. Okay, guys, so yeah. we're back. It looks like we might have fixed a little bit. We uh, we basically restarted the, um, the stream from scratch. So, yeah, it looks like it's a little better now. Please let us know in the chat if um, if this is better. Can I? Go ahead. Okay, and here comes the Vikings. There they are. Look yeah. at that flag. Nice big flag right there. Yeah, guys, please let us know in the chat if um, the quality is uh, better now, if it's lagging still. Please let us know. Yeah, it looks better. It looks like it's 60 FPS, Perfect. which is what we want. Yeah. Woo! Okay, what and do we're you think? back. Okay. Time for some football, right? Yeah. What do you think uh, the Vikings have to do to uh, get, uh, get a win today? Man. They, number one, they need to connect with the receivers. Yes. We saw that from the last game. Yeah, yeah. So they had a bunch of chances last game They um, that they didn't capitalize on. So last game, the um, Copenhagen, they, they were actually quite open over the middle, and they ran some posts, but they couldn't connect with the receivers twice. And they also had a blown coverage that – didn't connect with the receiver so for the Vikings part on offense is is gonna be get those passes to the receiver and that's all on the QB that's all on number 10 that's Mehmet says it yeah he's out there right now he's one of the captains doing the <coughs> coin toss so a lot of uh, yeah a lot of uh, pressures on him actually right now so yeah I know I mean the the weather isn't doing him any favors with uh, with the wind blowing pretty strong, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let's we'll see if we can uh, if we can get uh, the passing game going now with the the wind as uh, we just mentioned. Yeah. So there's wind. You can definitely hear it, and uh, you can definitely feel it here. Uh, but the weather is nice. It's comfortable, 15 degrees Celsius. It's it, it, yeah. It might get. It might be perfect temperature actually for football because <coughs> you're not so warm that you need to like cool down at every point during the game. Yeah. And uh, it's not a cold either. So. No, this is like very comfortable weather to play. Yeah. So the Here Vikings are lining up to receive the kickoff. Yeah, so special teams. We haven't talked about it a lot. No, we haven't. Uh, do you f I would think that the Seahawks are going to try to do the same thing that uh, the Danish team did and uh, try and keep the ball away from uh, 
the returning um, players on the Vikings, number two and number five, because they're not. Uh, yeah, away from uh, number five, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Eric Ford. So, so we see, maybe this, maybe they'll do the same tactic as uh, the before. Okay, number eleven is kicking off. So, from Osana Seahawks. First play of the game. Ah, and it's blown off. Great start here in Nazo. The ball, there's so much wind that the ball actually tipped over from the kicking tee. So now they have to have a guy to hold it. I think, yes. Mm. So now one guy is gonna hold. Oh, they're gonna no, again. they're gonna try again, actually. Let's see if uh, the umpire will let him do this. Ah, <laughs> and it happened again. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Norway. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, now they have to have a guy Hold there. The ball. Come on. Yeah, there's some wind there, guys. So they need a holder now. Go, 56 Oslo Vikings. Robin Kalborg. Yeah, they we're going to ask about him before, too. And uh, I personally haven't uh, uh, played with him. And... Uh, I don't know too much about him. I think he started playing this year. So unfortunately, we don't have that much information on uh, on him. Okay, and we're off to number 15. Takes the ball. Oh, Jukes, oh, one guy at nice. the 30, 40. Down at the 40-yard line. Shoelace tackle there. Number 15, that's Brady Mason. He actually flew in yesterday from Denmark. Played with us last year. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really fast guy. Yeah. Okay. Quick guy. Brady Mason. So they line up in their Yeah, let's see what they do here. First play, handoff up the middle. JJ, yeah, gets about five yards, first play. Established the run game. That's what they want to do, right? <coughs> Rely on the run game to get yeah, them the steady yards and then hit them on the exactly. and passes I, and after. Uh, I want to see if they can uh, maybe get their run game going with JJ and Vegard because it seemed to work out pretty good last time. Vegard had a number seven on the Vikings, had a very uh, productive game. Against a uh, Danish team that looked pretty strong on defense. Yeah. Outside blitz, number 55 on the blitz. There he goes again. Oh, and he's pushed back. Fumbles oh, he actually the fumbles the ball, but they but blow think, yeah. the whistle right blow before blow. that. Forward progress, so probably. So two runs, kind of similar runs. Yep. JJ up yep. the middle, power runs. Let's see, uh, see now. He played in Sweden. Yeah, he played in Sweden last year. Karlskoga Wolves, actually. Oh, so he's a wow. Swede, actually. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Trips right. Let's see a pass here. Drop back five. Oh, connects with number two. Gets the first down. Yeah, good pass there to number two. That's Martin Ufugi. That's what we expect from him too. Number two is get very. Hmm? Oh. It's very reliable hands, and uh, that's what we, that's what we kind of expected from him last game. But uh, he had troubles connecting with uh, Mehmet and dropped, I think, two passes. Yeah, trips that looked left. Like they were Hand off up the middle. Good blocks. Number oh, JJ. Oh, shades the goes. tackles. Good job. Good for a new first down. Get the big man going. Yeah, get him going. So uh, so we're trying with the new camera guy this this time. And uh, we'll see. Uh, please, uh, if you have any camera-related issues, please let us know. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll tell him. But he's doing his best. He's I've told him to try and zoom in and stuff. So let's see. Tight left. Not a one. Oh, good job. 
Good off-field block there by number 11. And second down, and they get about five yards. Oh, they're keeping this train rolling right now. So, yeah, I mean, if if you can if you can keep moving the ball this fast with just handing it off to number 22, that's what you want to do. Yeah, and he's off the field right now. Number seven's in. That's Vegartissa. Yes. He might have some uh, good moves as well. Let's see. Trips right. Maybe a pass. Handoff. Right side. Good blocks. And he gets stuffed. Good job there by the uh, Seahawks. Yeah. So. Uh, Good tackle there by 55. See. Trying to get that ball out. Yeah, uh, yeah, good, good, good job. Bagard had a fumble last game. Yeah, it's true. And uh, maybe he's been watching tape, trying to. Yeah, it's true. He had a fumble last game, and that's basically you can't do that as a running back. So they might try and uh, exploit that. I mean, I'm sure Vegard knows that that he has to hold the ball better. So let's see another handoff up the middle. Puts his helmet down, gets stuffed again. Does he get enough for the first down? Let's see. Looks like they're signaling. Oh, are they signaling? Signaling? Signaling. <laughs> signaling. Fourth down, yeah, it's fourth down. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. They have, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a couple of inches. They, yeah. They'll go for this, by, for sure. Or are they? Yeah, they are. They should be. So, so Heavy this package, is, so maybe. This, yeah. So this is the same thing that uh, we did against the Danes. Oh, it's a house formation. Let's see. Three running backs. Strong right. Handoff to the fullback. But there is a flag on the field oh. right now. See something interesting here. You have number four and number six. Those are two defensive players, number yeah. six. It's our uh, starting Mike linebacker for the Oslo Vikings. And number four is actually the Oslo Vikings defensive coordinator. <laughs> yeah, Interesting, the, uh, the DC actually lined up uh, in the <laughs> heavy package there. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Sending in the big boys. Let's see what the flag's on. <coughs> Low tack. Yeah, it's a scissor block. Wait, they offset? It's still fourth down, okay, so penalties on both the offense and the defense. That's uh, so they offset. It's still fourth down. Wow. So you run the <laughs> same thing again. I. That's crazy. They got kind of lucky there. Yeah. Fourth and about. That's gonna be a half a yard. Same package, strong right. Same play, handoff left side to the fullback. Very nice. Yeah, to JJ. Good job there, JJ. That's a first down. Yeah. They. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, that's. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, it. It's so hard to. Uh, it's so hard when uh, when all you all you need is like these tiny tiny like a yard or like a few inches and uh, yeah you can always rely on uh, number 22 to get those I mean that's that says itself when he, he's a big guy and you yeah drop back quick out route number two that's his second completion Jukes oh. one guy Jukes oh. two guys and he's in oh. wow touchdown Very Vikings Wow, great job there, number two. Yeah, that. Wow, that's uh, number two. That's Martin Ufugi. If you guys were tuning in last week, that's the guy that tried to hurdle one of the dates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he likes to show off on the field. That was two awesome jukes right there. Yeah, he was actually featured in the Vikings Instagram uh, post. Yes, he was. Oh. Movement on the line. PAT. Bad hole. Good bit. kick. Nice. Yeah, and it's true. Good job. So it's uh, 7 to 0. And it's 
We're still in the first quarter. That was a very fast <laughs> march down the field. Yeah, that uh, was. What uh, did you did you see anything on the um, on the Seahawks defense that you like? Yeah, they um, they had some good stops on the outside. It seems like they're they're strong on the outside. They have, mm -hmm. for instance, number fifty five Paul Alexander Fossan. He he's an old uh, Trondheim player actually. He's oh yeah? quite strong. And he plays the outside linebacker position. So, yeah. so, uh, so if the Vikings keep running up the middle, then they might not uh, leave it that um, position. But I mean, the outside seems strong on the Seahawks. So maybe uh, just keep running up the middle for the Vikings. That's what works yeah. right now. So, and so the Vikings are gonna kick off into the wind, which. Which will be interesting. Probably someone's gonna. Okay. Someone's gonna have to hold that ball. Yeah. How how much uh, do you bet that this ball is gonna <laughs> fall off the tee <laughs> right now? <laughs> uh, that's uh, <laughs> not gonna put too much money on that. But yeah. They are just gonna have to be very fast there, number seven. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's staying right now. Maybe we have a better tee on the Vikings. Okay. <laughs> and kick off right there we side. Go. Floater and it's out of bounds. Yeah. So uh, it actually the wind caught that ball a lot and uh, yeah, pushed yeah, so it out of bounds. Could, yeah. So uh, you can see that maybe that will affect the game somehow. Yeah, and that's the flag on on the kicking team now, the Vikings. Yeah. So it's uh, Seahawks ball. First and ten. Oh, yeah, I'm going to read the chat a little bit. Just keep zooming in to a minimum. It's much more important to viewers to see the whole play than those action shots. Okay. Camera's lagging, low FPS. Are you still having low FPS? Nice pass to number oh, 15. Oh, nice outside pass. So, now run nine yards there. They have an, an American quarterback, right? You would say. Dylan Beasley. Let's see here. It's number 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, number 12. They have an American quarterback. Okay, they have a wing, left side, two guys on the outside. Might be a rollout here. The Vikings look weak on this side. Quick screen yeah. pass outside to the number four. Uh, is it enough for the first down? Uh, it looks like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks be. like it. Good yeah. job there. Okay, so the Seahawks look like they're going to try to Trul Sonsen there on the um, on the receiver. Good job. Can we go are we missing a page? Oh no, no. Alright. Right. First down. Two passes in a row here. So they're looks like the Seahawks are gonna be using their American quarterback. Yeah, adjust. There's two on the line right now. This is yeah, good job. Same formation to the right side. Uh, same play, right side. Good block there. Number 19. Gets about five yards. Yeah. Yeah, pass, 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 pass. One would think, based on the last game, if they were to have watched tape where the Danish team had pretty good success with running the ball on the Vikings but the Seahawks come out and start throwing right away yeah it might be their uh, I like it win condition here all right let's see drop back fate no outside pass. wow right there oh is. and he oh. fumbles the ball is it incomplete yeah they're called incomplete pass wow 
Number was that number one? Number yeah. one comes in. Number with the one club. comes in with the club, forces that ball out. Yeah, they call that an incomplete. It's a yeah. bang bang play. That was basically. a very well timed hit by number one to yeah. get that ball out. The receiver was uh, but, uh, nice in the pocket there. He yeah, just found that space, just waited for it. Found, uh, he seems. Uh, okay, same. Same information, left side, let's see. Is it another screen? Oh, hand, oh, oh. handoff. Oh, gets stuffed Very there by nice. number six. Looked like a read option there yeah. from them, so. Yeah, good tackle there Looks by like number six. almost didn't get the, <laughs> get the handoff there. Yeah, yeah, but, the, um, it, it kind of like, Look like the quarterback. Uh, yeah, like yeah, he was gonna keep it himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice hit there by number six. Yeah, good job, Eric Shanning. Okay, so they're lining up to punt. It's fourth down, at about the 45-yard line, for the Vikings side. Let's see, good snap. Oh, great punt. Wow. Does it go in the end zone? Yeah, it does. Touchback. That guy has a leg on him. Wow. That was quite a kick. Remember, though, it's the wind. Yeah. He has the wind in his back. That so must have been the, uh, yeah. I mean, not to take anything away from number 66, but that <laughs> that ball went flying. Yeah. No, we're only kidding. That was a great <laughs> kick. Let's see if the Vikings can uh, stay with their game plan and just keep running it up the middle. Yeah, the Seahawks have to come up with something here to try and stop them. Yeah. So, okay. Handoff, number seven, Jukes inside, outside. Ah, yes, about two yards. There's that number 55 again, and uh, yeah. And uh, you know, together with number 52, who's named Fredrik Freyen. Was actually playing on the Viking on the Vikings uh, a couple of years ago. Wow. Yeah. But then I think he lives in Bergen, so I think he moved back and started playing with the Seahawks. Yeah. Same with the uh, Paul, number fifty-five. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, gets tackled in the backfield. Wow. Very nice there, man. Great yeah, defense nine. there, but there's a flag on the field. Hand off to number seven. Didn't go quite as expected. No. Lining up offsides, they're saying. Well, Sana. Yeah, so it's against the defense. Maybe lined up in the neutral zone. Yeah. And, uh, Is it third? Yeah, it's third down. False, no, it's false start oh. offense, actually. Yeah. That's about five yards back. It should be. Did they even move the ball? Mm. <laughs> it, <laughs> it doesn't look like it. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, <laughs> so. Uh, Double formation. Let's see a pass here. Number five is on number 16. It looks like it's a cover two look that now. Oh, and it's another false start. Is that on uh, the is Vikings? It? Yeah, it should be on the Vikings, this one. Let's see. And another false start on the Vikings. Still third down though, so actually now they move. <laughs> they now move the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I might be wrong, but it didn't look like they moved the ball I on that first penalty. Could that have been two offsetting penalties though? Yeah, perhaps. It yeah. could have been. Yeah, because I that seems weird that they would forget about it. Would I less? Yeah, where's Reles? Where yeah, he's uh, right in front of us on the Reles. sidelines, but he should be starting on the defense.
Oh, they're making easy, easy call. Some adjustments to the receivers. What are they going to do? Drop back, five there step drop. Go. Throwing the oh. fade to number five. Oh, oh, catches the ball, double jukes. Oh, oh no. Stays, stays in bounds. Gets tackled from behind oh, by number 70. Wow, that's quite a show right there. Yeah, putting on a <laughs> spectacle there. Yeah, I. that's number five, that's Eric Ford. Yeah, um, it's the guy we were talking about last time that uh, yeah. we wanted to see the, the Vikings offense uh, try to establish more of a passing game with him. But uh, yeah, that's what happens when uh, when he gets the ball in his hands. Yeah, yeah, but but so what a pass. That was against the wind on yeah. the like on the side where the wind blows. So it's easy to f float it on the outside. So doesn't seem like it was bothering him too much there. No, great play. Run up the middle. Number seven gets a block. Bounce oh. outside. Bounces oh. inside. Wow! Very nice. Juke's two guys. Let's go in. Great job there, uh, number seven. Number 17 was in for the list on the last defense. Oh, yeah. Do you know maybe, why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that could be maybe an injury related uh, position. Looks, yeah, he looks healthy though. So. Yeah, we'll have to see uh, what happens. Uh, Later on in the game. Yeah, trips right. Pass out to number two. Yeah, Jukes two another again. guy. Jukes again. Oh, gets Just tackled by the linebackers. Yo, this guy can <laughs> juke. <laughs> Very nice hit there by number yeah. nine. Looks like but another uh, first down. Dude, he he just yeah. Wow, Mark nice yeah, play. yeah, hands yeah. down, dude. Good job. So, uh, so it's it, it's quite something. He did either a five and out or a hitch right there, uh, but he bounced on the inside and then he yeah. two levels of linebackers and then yeah. got cut from behind. Because there's traffic on the inside there, so. But he's very comfortable with it being a, a smaller, shifty guy. Yeah, tight. Till, uh, tight left, fake handoff. Another one. Oh, out of the hands on number two at the push. Walking touchdown on that, that one. That's the same one he dropped uh, last week. That didn't uh, shouldn't be an issue for uh, number two yeah. usually, but um, yeah, wasn't able to. Yeah, number two, Martin Fugi, homegrown guy. He's played uh, with the Vikings forever, literally forever since before the Vikings. Okay, so trips right. Probably a pass. Let's see. They blitzed the outside. Looks like 56. Handoff to oh. number seven. Bounce on the outside. Gets caught. Tries the outside route. Good tackle there. It's third down and about 10. So at this point, the Vikings will probably have two shots at making the end zone. Even though it's yeah. third down, they'll go for it on fourth here. I wouldn't be too sure. Maybe well, the, uh, the Vikings would just kick it because, uh, like we saw last week, they uh, have a very reliable kicker, number seven. Yeah. Vagard. And. Okay, uh, uh, flag. No, it's timeout or. Yeah, it's the end of oh. the first period. So we're gonna switch sides. Yeah. Still third down though. But in these situations, I know that uh, uh, the Vikings head coach, Derek Mann, is not a big fan of leaving points on the oh. field. So uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that he would uh, decide to kick it on uh, the fourth. On fourth? Yeah. yeah, yeah, good point. Especially when we're uh, when the Vikings are this close to the end zone. Should be a relatively easy kick for the yeah. Vikings team. So uh, Gustavo... Franciscetti. Sorry if I say that wrong. He says that number this number two is always free on coverage. If the CX don't play smart, he'll he's going to blow it up. And we saw exactly yeah. that right what on do you first down. What do you think about that decision there to uh, to blitz that outside linebacker when they that basically leaves them one on one 
with three receivers on the outside there. Yeah, it, in, uh, in the hook zone, that might be an issue. I would rather see him just drop back there and, I mean, take yeah, care yeah. of that, uh, that slant. Yeah, yeah, I but might, I might think uh, their coach is going to do something about yeah, that now. Yeah, I think... Uh, Maybe that faking was a weird the decision blitz there. Yeah. and just having him scout uh, the QB. Okay, so there it's trips left to the wide side of the field. It looks like one on one. Yeah, they See blitz again. 55 Number fifty six blitz. Again. Ball. Oh, loses the ball. And the fumble. Yeah. He gets the ball out, but Mehmet is actually uh, he lands on the ball, so. Is fourth down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I saw that from a mile away. It's, it, mm -hmm. it's hard when it, it's on the blind side of the QB. Yeah. S number 56 has been, like, he's been blitzing almost every play on yeah. the outside, like a, a pinch blitz almost. Very impressive. Y yeah, so feels you're like a Feels like that leaves them vulnerable to uh, to the passing game, which uh, has yeah. been showing. Yeah, you were right. They line up to kick. And it's no good. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Well it looks like the wind had an effect here, maybe. Yeah. It went on the left side, which is the wind direction, basically. Yeah. So maybe not uh, the best idea, but I mean. Yeah. Yeah, so if number 56, that, that was good. He had a forced fumble. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct call every day of the week. Yeah. But if he fakes that and he just floats up in the hook zone, he yeah. might get a pick. Because number yeah, two is almost always on the inside, running either a hitch or a five and out. Mm -hmm. So At let's least see. slow them down a little bit because it seems like uh, the Vikings were. Wing to the right, two receivers on the outside. And another screen outside. Oh, nice juke on the inside. Good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be. Ah. Yeah. Good job there, <laughs> number one, Bruyere. Yeah. Finish the tackle. You don't stop the tackle until they actually blow the whistle. So uh, I think this is on the refs. Yeah. But I mean, he should have known he was uh, way out of bounds. Well, let's see what they call. Yeah, some, yeah. It's basically on number one. And it's on first down, actually. It's personal foul, number yeah. one. It's tough. Sometimes it's uh, maybe he didn't see the, the line or know that he was out of bounds. Yeah, number 17 it's is in for uh, Rullis again. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that's why you hunt Kvist for the yes. Vikings. He's been playing with the Vikings for a couple of years, but then he had to uh, take a break. Okay, drop back. Issues. Screen pass, right, left side. Oh. Gets tackled. Second down. Oh, yeah, nice. they, 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 the QB is really good on getting the ball on the outside. Yeah. It's like, it's like catch and pass. And it's that's a hard thing to do, so. But I mean, Maybe, um, yes, someone in the comment in the chat, you have an American QB and you throw five and outs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is working right now, but uh, let's see if they can uh, have some cool plays. Okay, so wing right again, same formation. Yellow. Pass, same play. Oh, this should be picked soon. Oh. Oh, nice oh stiff arm there. Number 15 with the <laughs> Number 15. Arn Lørgensen Deros. Good job, man. First down. So so they basically ran the same play now for <laughs> four times in a row. I mean, th they should expect the Vikings to try and pick that in the flat. Let's see. Let's see if they it looks jump like number this. Number twenty was getting. He's getting closer. Oh, but it, it. it's a new formation. It's uh, trips left with a tight end on the right side. Let's see what they do. Pass, drop back, five step drop. Looks for the pass. Goes on his feet, throws the ball into traffic. Oh. Wow, hits number fifteen. 
for a And touch, number so. 15 is almost oh. in, but he's out. He's out. Wow. It's at the one yard line almost. At the one yard line. Wow. That's quite a good, that's quite that's a, a scramble drill. Yeah. Yeah, number 15. So they're really going to use this uh, quarterback of theirs, uh, number 12. Yeah. The Seahawks. Pass, 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 yeah. pass. Yeah. I think but that's it's working. Yeah, I think that's also what the Vikings were expecting from them since they know that they're going up against an American quarterback. Yeah. So I don't think the they're that scared of the run. They're more, uh, but that was a very impressive play. All right, let's see. Roll out, boot, right side. Does he keep it? It looks like, no, he passes oh. out. Oh. Almost picked off number 17. Uh, it, I mean, you can catch that, but good try. Rollouts, yeah. That's something we haven't seen yet. Oh, he seems to be very comfortable throwing while yeah. Uh, running. Yeah, quite a, quite something. So it's second down. So uh, Oslo Vikings need to show press and bail late. Then you take that look pre-snap. Take away that look pre-snap. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so trips left with a receiver on isolated. Looks like a run fake. There's flags on the field. Does it delay a game on the oh. offense? Wow. There you go. That sucks. So there's five yards behind, and now it's like second. It's still second and goal, but it's about 12 yards to go. No, it's about 10 yards. Let's see here. Looks like they had some fake up the middle dialed up. Same same formation as last play. Yeah, fake. Bounces out right side. Goes. Is he agile enough? Oh, Adam with the missed tackle. Does oh. it get in? Wow, it's How a touchdown. It? Okay. Very impressive run there by number 12. So this guy, he's, uh, I mean, <laughs> he's scary on the feet and running. Yeah, wow. Very impressive. Yeah, runs the ball himself. Yeah. Carries the team on his shoulders, on, yeah. his, on his back. Yeah. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, the Vikings, their secondary is really going to get tested in this game, it seems like. Another flag. Looks like there's too many players on the Vikings. Yeah, there's one too many. Yeah, it doesn't really change anything, but... um. No, it's a legal substitution. No. All right, so a good answer there by the Seahawks. Yeah. Good answer. They really need to focus on this uh, quarterback. And the kick is good. Oh, good seven job. Seven. Yeah, they come out swinging. I mean, this is... I'm, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty confident that uh, the Vikings were expecting this. Um, but uh seems like number 12 from this from the Seahawks is, I mean, he's just finding openings. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Number number 12. Their American uh, Dylan Be Beasley. Very important. So, um, yeah, someone asked in the chat, was uh, who is the weak safety? That's number 47. That's... Uh, Adam, Adam Lukashevich, Lukashevich, the yeah. Polish Punisher. He had a missed tackle right there. That's too bad. Yeah. He really needs to bounce back from that last game. He played well last game, but he had one. He got burned on that one last touchdown, and yeah. I think he's uh, he's looking to uh, show something here. Oh yeah. Who's Viking number 24, and what do you guys know about him? So that is Victor Fonesca. We don't know too much about him either. Also a new guy this yeah. year. Yeah, this year, right? 
Oh, it's a kick. Oh, they actually try and catch it. Number two takes it. Number six. Oh, pitches oh, it to number go. five. They there think number two has the ball. It's one on two. Can they beat the oh. kicker? Yeah, they oh, can. Eric Ford with the walking touchdown. <laughs> wow. Touchdown also Vikings. That was quite a play. Number that two gets the crap. ball. Yeah. Runs on the right side, pitches, pitches it back it. to number two. Everyone flows to the left side, yeah. and number five is open all the way. He beat two guys. He beat the kicker and the safety for that. Run it on the outside, and uh, yeah. That is what you don't want happening. That's why I think the Seahawks, and I was expecting that too, that they would take a page out of the Danish team's uh, tactics on special teams and just squib kick it. Yeah, because but it really was a squib kick, though. It, it was? Yeah. I, or squib, it, it was low. I mean, it almost hit number six there. Yeah. And, and uh, but he's smart enough to let it go back to uh, to number two. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when you give number five the ball. You really, really want to keep it out, yeah, out of his hands. Wow, especially so on yeah. this uh, on this special teams. But yeah, that's what happens if you kick it all the way back. Yeah, you kick, you give it. Yeah, well, basically they gave it to number two, but number five got it anyways. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm not sure, but I think the Vikings have done this play before. I am. Uh, we'll, we'll don't quote me on it, but I think that there's tape of this particular play, and uh, but I I I mean that's so hard to to game plan plan against. Why isn't Adam strong safety? Right is weak, Nikolai Isaksen uh, cornerback. Yeah, so Nikolai Isaksen is actually playing strong safety this year. Uh, yeah, they've been switching around a little bit uh, between those two guys, but I, I, uh, I'm not really sure. We, we're not uh, too dialed in on the, the Vikings' uh, game plan on defense, but I think they're they're uh, switching it up a little bit. Yeah, so uh, Isaksen actually moved to safety. Yeah, he used to play corner, but since we have yes. three, at least three really good corners, then. Uh, it's more of a safety position. Yeah. So they kick oh, it down. Kick it. Number 27. He actually touches ah, it. He can't down it in there. Wow, gets swallowed at the five. Oh, that no. Yeah, that's too bad. He misses that first catch and yeah. loses the ball Bounce. towards his own end zone. Bounces in his chest. Oh, that's that very unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate But that there. kick, too, uh, that must have been... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take anything away from number seven, but I think that kick had a little bit of uh, help with the win because that went yeah. far. Yeah. Wow. Still, low Vega has a leg on him, but I mean... Uh, yeah, that was quite a long kick. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it looks like number 24, Victor uh, Francesca, actually got a stinger there in his right arm. It looks oh. like he's hurt, so yeah. uh might tune into that later. But uh, he's being helped out by uh, the Vikings. Looks like his elbow is. CCO. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. It was uh, dislocated. Oh, pass play awesome. outside incomplete. Yeah, number twenty-four is uh, getting medical attention now, guys. So um, uh, let's hope he's all right. He's in good hands. From our. Uh, we have a physio, right? Physio therapist named Tom Wilhelmsen a very professional guy yeah but wow. make sure he's alright yeah so incomplete pass first down on their own five they don't want to run it let's see one on one on the outside see if they can dig themselves yeah, out of this wi hole wing right under center actually let's see five step drop P rolls out throws the fade is it oh. a comeback? That, oh. What? A flag Could for that? that? I just, I mean, that, that's, that's more like crazy. a pressure from fifth, number 15, I think. Okay, so there's a flag on the field, guys. Um, it looked like the ball was underthrown. They had to turn the other way and come back for it. Yeah, but he was, I mean. He Might be a throw. PI here on, he uh, on the defense. PI yeah, defense, defense. Wow. really. That's, uh, that's a horrible call right there. But uh, yeah. 
tough one. I mean, I had my vision wasn't yeah, complete, we so we couldn't really uh, see it from here. But really, uh, really that yeah, was weird. That was a weird call. It looked like, um, yeah, maybe a holding, yeah, or a pi, yeah. So cool. it's first down for the for the Osana. And sorry guys if if we're being too uh too uh non neutral or too biased for the Vikings, please uh excuse us 'cause um we uh we are all Vikings <laughs> players, both of us, so Yeah. Try to keep it. Oh drop back fade left wow, side beats the guy for oh four has 12 beat there all the way, but it's overthrown. That's too bad. Good pass. But uh, just didn't. Number four had 12 beat there. And yeah. he was the guy that yeah. got burned on that fade last uh, last weekend also by number 80 on the Copenhagen Towers. Yeah. Lucky break, basically, <laughs> for him. Yeah, here we have. <laughs> we actually have number four. Nico Falk Knutsen, uh, also known as the uh, Oslo Vikings defensive coordinator, dressed up today and is actually in playing at yeah. linebacker, it looks like. Which is his old uh, ah, flag. position that he used to play when he played with the Vikings, which he has been doing for a lot of years. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to uh, Nico there. Yeah. So we have another. Delay a penal delay a game penalty for the old timer in there. It's weird yeah. to call him an old timer when he's only twenty five years old, but it feels like he's been playing for ever. Wait, Nico is twenty five? I'm pretty sure. No. He rolls out, rolls out, ro rolls out, rolls out, throws it oh. away. Is, is it out of, yeah, out of bounds? Yeah, it's out of bounds. Yeah, roll out. It yeah, he likes rolling out to his right side. Makes sense, he's a right arm quarterback. Um, the qu uh, the receivers seem well covered right there on yeah. out routes. They yeah. kind of flew uh flow on the on that side. So we have third down and uh, fifteen. Yeah, we're gonna Chuck see a pass here. here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. Pr my my guess is number four is gonna get a deep ball here. So they line up trips right. They're not gonna throw a screen. Where I'm gonna eat my sock. See if number one can yeah. get a top five step here. drop. Looks for the fade, yeah. gets chased, gets oh. chased, gets chased, gets tackled oh. by number six. Very nice. Kim Shenning with the quick moves. All right, good job, guy, man. Yeah, the secondary had him uh, covered there. Pretty good. Yeah, good job. That's that's basically a coverage sack. Yeah. Because he didn't throw the ball. No. At his first opportunity, he rolled out. He had two opportunities after that, but he kept it. So oh. good job. Good chase there by number six, actually catching him and Very tackling. Nice. Yeah. He's quick to be a big guy. Number, number six? six? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Big papa. Yeah, and we have a punt. Oh, it gets. Oh. He puts a spiral on the punt. Well, oh, it gets a Vikings bounce, bounce oh. but it's still a good punt. Yeah. Punt to about the, um, the 40 yard line on uh, the Osana side. So it's first so down for the Vikings. They're on Osana's side of the field, and they uh, look to make this uh, two-score game, basically. Looked a little bit like the Vikings offense there last week, uh, the Seahawks. Just yeah. just out of reach with that deep ball to number four. Yeah. If that would have hit, that could have been dangerous. Yeah, definitely. Number 12 is lucky. Okay, so Nico Knudsen is playing what number four? Yes, he number is four, playing yes. number four. He's coaching the defense and playing. Oh, fake handoff, drop back, number ten. Oh, throws the seam. Is it too? Oh, it's too far. That looked like the wind actually. Yeah, got all that wind it picked like up it right floating. as he threw it. Yeah, look for that seam pass for number five, Eric Ford. Let's see if the Seahawks can uh, maybe adjust here and. Try to get a guy over top there over number five because, as we said before, you really don't want him to have the ball in his hands. Yeah, I know. So you got a yeah. question for the viewers as well. Who has more swag, basically? House yeah. position. 
Let's do this. Hot position. Okay, here we go. This is the hand off to the back. S number seven, Jix. Oh, oh, almost, almost goes free. But uh, he's uh, tackled in the ankles. Good job. Tackled by number 23 on the Seahawks. Yeah. Morten Sörfonden. If I were to pick one that's uh, the most stylish, the most swag, it's going to go to um, Seahawks or number one on the Seahawks. Oh that's yeah? uh, Matthias Kleppestö. I know he uh, likes to wear some bicep bands and stuff. Oh. So, uh, yeah, he Get looks those quite out. Yeah, looks quite stylish. Has some tattoos as well, I think. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. Does throws a oh, fade. Number 15. number 15. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Almost. Drops the pass. Wow, That's had that. Yeah. Had that. Oh, the sun is in, a fa in his face, I know. but uh, must have The wind must have ta taken that yeah. too because that flew very weird. But, I mean, you touch it, you catch it, right? Yeah, one can say that, I guess. Number 15 has been, uh, I mean, he's, uh, he has very good hands. Actually, he played football in the States too, and uh, Kevin played for us last year a bit. Very good hands and super fast. But couldn't catch it there. So yes. you see number five here, and you don't have anybody playing over top of him. Off. That's Slant gonna all juice. All juice. Another guy runs back but oh. gets tackled. Almost. I don't. I'm not a big fan of their decision here to just keep one guy on number five. I feel like that's that's always gonna result in uh, yeah in ugliness because I mean if you if you pair him up with one on one with most guys in the league. He's gonna, he's gonna beat you. Yeah, and that's, that's true. I mean, that's no. But that's I mean, you have two no guys. Secret. You have it's number two and number five. So how do you handle both? I don't know. That's a <laughs> question for the defensive coordinator on the Seahawks. Handoff number twenty-two up the middle oh finds boy. a lane, gets a first down. Vikings. Good job there, JJ. Um, uh, if if the stream is lagging, um, sorry. We can't do anything about it. It's uh, we're just uh, yeah. It, it we'll is we'll whenever we actually do change the scoreboard and stuff that oh, okay, uh, okay. that stuff will lag a little bit. Yeah. But um, we'll have to look at it in the in the break or yeah. in the half time. Yeah, Get but uh, but if it's uh, if it's good most of the time, it's just it might be the wind and stuff. Fake pass. Oh, it. Oh, Chucking it. there you go! Picks. I said it. That's number. Yeah, that it. That's yeah. exactly what you said. So they, number 55. they, they, uh, instead of blitzing number fifty-five on the outside, they QB spy him and they yeah. put him in the hook position, and yeah. almost gets a pick there. See. That's uh, Paul Lawrence on the full sun for uh, the also on the Seahawks. Yeah, they're having a good game, but I, uh, that's the that's the adjustment I wanted to see too because I mean it I felt like they were just. To just keep one guy out there and then s send the outside line, but that just seems stupid. Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, so it's, sec uh, it's second down. Seems like is he? Well, here he comes. Roll out, fake screen to oh. number twenty-two. Two good blocks. Bounce on the outside. Stays in bounds. Uh, is down well, at, uh, at about the. Interesting decision to kick ten. it outside there. Yeah. It's still, still third down. It didn't get the new first down, but that was good. He bounced on the outside though. It looked like he uh, might have gotten more like on the inside. Looked like he had some room there on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I'll I'll trust uh, trust number twenty two. Yeah, player. I'll trust his vision on that one. I think so. Are they going this heavy formation again? I see number six is yeah. there. Jukes all day, homie. Raffle, that dude is a tank. Yeah, dude, he is a tank. Number 22? Yes. Yeah. yeah some oh, some guess it. Number 22 again. Pushes two. And go. is it? Is he in? That's yes, touchdown. it's a touchdown, Vikings. Great job there, number 22. Just pushes it through. Yeah. You know? I mean, I like their decision that the Vikings to just keep hammering up the middle because it seems to be 
Working. Working very good. Yeah, so um, good job there, JJ. It's got to be extremely demoralizing for the Seahawks defense to just uh, not seem to have an answer for this uh, run game. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's like um, this guy is like 110 kilos, gets oh, the least. ball, runs really low, Yeah. has really um, – thick ties and stuff it's hard to get a hold of him so yeah, uh, he can just uh, lean over you and you can't yes yeah, extremely can't yeah, it's extremely good balance too and like the i mean he just stays up and just runs through people yeah ford is number five eric ford is number five that's Eric Ford. he's gotten a uh kick return for touchdown and yes. it's good it's yeah. good and I know we're, we're we're hyping on him uh, a lot, but uh, I mean it's it's this is not something that uh, he's a well-known player within the within the uh, American football community, community here yeah. in Norway, and uh, it's it's not it's not a it's not a weird thing that uh, that he takes off. So I think that's something the Seahawks have to consider and I mean think about because. You can't have one guy covering him. That's uh, I mean that doesn't. Yeah, it just doesn't translate. Uh, yeah, that's but just um, gonna be too tough. Yeah, but the problem is they they double team number five. Say they do that, number two is open next yeah, time. That's a so um, yeah, they have some weapons on the Vikings, but also the Seahawks have a lot of weapons. So yeah, the Seahawks really they need do. to uh, come back before uh, the half. I think they should. If they score a touchdown now, the momentum will uh, be in their favor. Yep. So they are receiving in the second half, meaning they will get two possessions back to back if they score on this one, basically. And uh, we're not sure on time right now. Oh, and the uh, thing falls off the tee. Again. Do they need a holder? Do they? Maybe they'll give it two tries every time and then uh, holder. Maybe that's uh, the deal. But if we've seen a lot of passes going to the outside now for the Seahawks. I want to see them try and contest a little bit on the inside too. Throw all these lo the linebackers in the... Wow, long kick is returned there. Number 19, bounce on the outside. Oh. Get swallowed Taken at down. about the 20 yard line. Taken down by number 15, Brady Mason. So not only can he catch and run, he can also tackle. Yeah. Interesting. And there's a flag on the play. Looked like uh, some kind of uh, cheap block or something. Yeah. Because one of the players happened. were down. So let's oh. see. Yeah, it's still first half, it's second quarter. Okay, so uh, let's hear what the main ref is saying. We're having some difficulties with uh, time, it looks like. Yeah, it's yeah, we don't. The yeah. It's not showing on the scoreboard. Yeah, we're not aware when the time. So, uh. Oh, it's on the. Oh, it's on the, actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a penalty. So send them back again. But they, uh, they managed to get out of this uh, situation before. Yeah. Even though it was uh, com coming from a penalty, but I <laughs> yeah, I from think a PI. Uh, I think they're pretty comfortable that they can uh, dig themselves out of this one. Yeah. For anybody wondering, or the guys that that were asking about number twenty-four, looked like he had a problem with his elbow, and he seems to be back in the field now with a what looks like a wrap and an ice package around him. So hopefully nothing too severe there. Oh, Q QB keep out the middle, number 12, Jukes. Oh. Wow. Wow. Spin move makes number 47 yeah. miss again. Yeah, he's he's going to get um, get a hit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if he keeps doing that. But, oh, looks but it's a first down. Good job. Yeah. So they, they do dig themselves out of it. But yeah. he seems to, I mean, from the looks of it out here, I haven't seen him in person, but he, he seems to be a good, uh, a big kid. 
So I think he can. Uh, I mean, he can handle some hits. And if he's been playing in the states, I mean, he's. I'm pretty sure he's uh, <laughs> used to getting hit. Yeah. So I, I don't mind him uh, keeping the ball. Handoff, left there. side, number gets a juke, gets tackled there. Take him down by s number 65, Vidar Gjermstad on the Vikings. Yeah, wow. So, switching it up a little bit. Yeah. Hand it off to the, number 27. the running back. I mean, they have had handoffs before, but... We're uh, tr <laughs> we're trying to yeah. Mauricio Salazar. Yeah, we're trying to mention some uh, some of the players on the Seahawks, but uh, we don't have a, a player sheet that is numeric or ranked after the numbers. So we just have to sit and sit through and uh, try to find the numbers. Yeah. Sorry if we're not. Uh, so it's uh, two minute names. warning right now. So yeah. it's two minutes okay. left of the um, yeah. of the um, of the half. Still second and ten from uh, also on the Seahawks. See one on one on the outside with the receivers. They might hit this. Yeah. Oh, oh. drops the ball. Drops it. Seems to be some sort of miscommunication there. It looked like he yeah. wanted to hand it off to number twenty-seven. Yeah, it looks like uh, number 27 was a bit quick yeah, there. <laughs> he just <So> ran away <laughs> from the ball. Yeah. It, that, that, that timing is so important when you do these uh, run fakes. Yeah. But his snap was read snap a little bit too high, I think. Yeah, he had to jump yeah, for the snap. That, so uh, that'll do it. Yeah. So we have a timeout now for the Seahawks. Shout out to number 71, Water Boys. Always shout out to the Water Boys. And... The other one is Frode on the Oslo Vikings. Yeah. Oh my god, a design run. Yes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's happening here. Have thrown it. Yeah. Love it. So uh, He can take it. He's a big kid. Yeah. We'll switch up in the secondary here on the Vikings. Number 43 is in for 47. Yeah. That's uh, Sergio Vizuet. Yes. Our uh, Mexican. Yeah, so it looked like uh, Adam got... Uh, Trying out some new things, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a weak safety here for the Vikings. Yeah. Trips right for them. Let's see here. Five step drop. Looks over the middle. Seam route. Ooh. Oh. Almost. It's batted down by number 12. Great job there, number 12. Right is Poshis. Great job, dude. So it's fourth down. And uh, since it's an incompletion, the two minute warning, and they had a timeout. So uh, um, it's like uh, maybe 1.30 left on the clock. Yeah. So the Vikings should uh, use their three timeouts and run down the field after this punt. They're, they're punting uh, to the win right now, so you might see a short punt. See if uh, Ponder here and the Seahawks can yeah, let's get see. it downfield. Yeah, so oh, is it short? It. Yeah, I guess a good Vikings bounce. Oh. Yes. But yeah, they, it seems it doesn't seem to work that well to b I mean uh, punt in the wind there. Yeah, so they're uh, about the 35 yard line. Yeah, 35 yard line. Yeah. Going in. Should be. Uh, they should capitalize think on the this. Uh, one. I think the Vikings should be able to score here. Yeah. What's up with uh, Stian number 71? He's not playing. Stian number 71, so the water boy that we shouted out before. He seems to have some trouble with his elbow, from what I've heard. And is not playing today. Yeah. Former MVP of the Oslo Vikings. <laughs> right, five step drop, empty formation, game. quick out. Oh. F slant to number five, gets down. Seems like they put two guys on him now, right? Yeah. 
But the, it, it was empty formation. Is it a first down? They're trying. Yeah, first down. They're trying to do this quick. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, the chain's not in place. Yeah, quick offense here, Vikings. Is he on the line? Yes, he is. Number 15. Five step drop. Looks for the fade. Throws the fade to number five. Catches oh. the ball. He's out of bounds. No. Out of bounds. So incomplete pass. Have the Seahawks are playing right now with three down uh, linemen, and it uh, seems like they put in uh, an extra guy on the secondary. Yeah. Yeah, they're to looking try to, to slow down this uh, passing play. I like, I yeah, like but, they, but they know that the Vikings will pass now. Yeah. Um, come on, use those timeouts. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I agree, uh, Eddie. I'm, uh, yeah. So they should have three left with the time stop now. So let's see. Trips right. 15 is isolated. It's a cover two look. Yeah. The post is there wide is open, and it's a walking touchdown, number two. Great job. Oh, oh yes. And too. we got some cake here we in the got studio. cake. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Six points to Gryffindor. Sorry, the Vikings, I mean. Uh, so <laughs> 27 now. Let's see if they can make this kick. High snap, good hold, and it's good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, um, the Seahawks really need to capitalize when they come back from this half. I think it's about one minute left, maybe 30 seconds left on the clock. Right now, they're gonna get the ball. Let's see. Maybe they'll throw some uh, bombs. Who knows? I think the Seahawks have to rely on their offense here to uh, put them in a better position because the the defense seems to be struggling against this uh, the Vikings passing offense, and it, it seems to be clicking way better now um, than it was against the the, the Danish team. I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Danes are, uh, they were uh, uh, a, a stronger, better team in general, but uh, I, it, uh, it doesn't seem like the, the Seahawks should, it shouldn't be too hard to, to try to, um, try to come back stronger the second half. Yeah. Long kick, number 27 again, keeps it this time. Right yeah. side, cuts the inside oh. to his blockers. There's a flag on the field. There's the Polish Punisher getting to <laughs> get to redeem himself a little bit with a special teams tackle. Yeah. Some extra nice curricular activities after that play also. Seems like... Yeah, uh, he tried to rip the ball out. Yeah. Oh, it's the same on the also on the Seahawks. It's doing oh. this wedge thing. That's it. Yeah, I, I, w I was looking at that uh, that call, and I since I can't hear him, I am wondering. So yeah, we <laughs> we can't hear him, so we try to kind of try to illegal wedge, meaning that they had more than two players doing a wedge, basically. And that's uh, illegal. Uh, that's a penalty in uh, <coughs> Europe. That's, uh, that's weird. I mean, it I seems like they should know that. Yeah. Might be a hard call. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Pass, five-step drop. Looks for the fade. Keeps him himself oh. and gets tackled hard there. It's cleaned up my number 52, Magnus Kinder. Also yeah. known as the janitor because uh, he always cleans up. Yeah, it gets field. a taste for, uh, of the janitor right there. Yeah. Time out for Osana. Yeah, they, they want to do something here.
So we have a timeout. They look for that um, fade on the on the short side of the field. It didn't look like it was there. No. And uh, I, yeah, I think they should go to the other side. They had um, number four on a fade not so long ago. So let's see if they they line up number four on the outside. No. But remember, the Vikings are playing really soft there, so it's empty formation. They really Trips want to try left, doubles right. They want to try and uh, get him uh, matched up here with number 12. Yeah. Looks left side again, short side, throws oh. it outside. Good, Good coverage there by number four, the defensive coordinator of the Oslo Vikings. Yeah, they keep throwing it to, uh, to the Seahawks' right side. Maybe it's more comfortable uh, looking that way. Than to do, uh, throw the fade on the uh, left side. Happy it didn't score, but that was Martin. Yeah, damn, bro, awesome, awesome play. What happened to the sound? Can you hear us, guys? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, janitor. Yeah, so basically, yeah. Is troll Slytherin then commentators? Yeah. Probably, or maybe oh. I saw. Oh, does he get? Yeah, he gets sacked. Taken down. Taken down at the one. I did not catch that. Looked like a mix between number 91 and 52. Yeah. 91, Peter Frausing. Uh, Frausing. That's maybe how you pronounce it. Young, very young kid. Okay, what are yeah, the Vikings take a timeout here. Maybe they can score one more time, or maybe they can force something. It's it's quite hard to uh, to punt in this position. If you get a bad snap, it's basically uh, safety yeah. every time. So, because uh, the yeah the punter is uh, he has to stay in bounds basically, but uh, it's quite short to the back of the end zone. Okay, so uh, time is off. It's fourth down. Line up to punt at the one yard line. Osana. Good snap. Oh, it's blown. Oh. It's a flag on the play. Oh, no. But it was a good punt, so uh, that's too bad. Full start offense. Oh. Wow. That Six sucks. Seems to. It just can't catch a break here. Yeah, uh, Knaskarni, it's me, sorry. Yeah, nothing to be sorry about. We try to, uh, <laughs> we read everything. So, uh, yeah, it's quite easy to troll us in this, in, in that sense, so. <laughs> be yeah. kind to us, guys. Yes, please. Okay, so line up at the one again. <gasps> High snap. Oh, gets oh. it off, barely. Oh, almost blocked. By almost blocked. There. And it's out of bounds at the 17 yard line. So the Vikings get another crack at it here. Yeah, wow. See, uh, they have either one or two timeouts left. I'm not quite sure the Vikings, because uh, the scoreboard is not up to date. So that's the one Q, we follow. Uh, <laughs> Q, uh, QB keep here from num number 10. Yeah, you think Let's so? See it. Do some version of uh, Dylan Beast's uh, antics. Yeah, let's see what they come up with. Maybe some passes. I I think they would pass here because they don't want to get down inside. Yeah, they do, and they seem to be having a lot of It's like It's like barely two. 20 seconds left or something, yeah. maybe 10 seconds left. So let's see. Chuck it there. Let's see uh, pass to number 15. Roll out right side. Steps in. Throws the fade oh. to number 5. <laughs> Over oh, the crossed. top. It's a touchdown, Oslo Vikings. Oh. What a catch from number five, Eric Ford. Wow, that's quite a showing there. Wow. Yeah, I wish we had uh, replays. You guys can, <laughs> watching, you can actually replay this play by by just putting the yeah. video back a little <laughs> bit. So um, Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of technology yet, but may yeah. maybe in the future we'll... Uh, be able to <laughs> implement it somehow. Yeah. But there's a there's a number five again, and I mean uh, the That's way <coughs> number ten is just so comfortable with 
throwing it out there and uh, and uh, expecting number five Eric Ford to be the guy to be able to catch the ball at the yeah. highest point because he's a very athletic guy and uh, his background is also basketball so he's uh, also very used to having balls in his hands yeah right yeah he comes from basketball and uh, that was that was a textbook catch he basically yeah. just caught it he was behind the the db but he mm -hmm. caught it over him yeah, the, the, DB the, the db was like i mean in a in a good in a good uh, position but i i mean that's a tough one yeah when you're going against somebody that's that comfortable in the in the end zone yeah yeah and once again shout out to number 10 Mehmet Cesar yeah. really doing a great job this far by playing, playing some good football today. The yeah, the placing wind the balls. Uh, doesn't seem to be bothering him that much. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to have been a factor too much on either side of the ball. Here. Wow, great kick. It It's out of the end zone. Yeah. And we're in Norway. There's that what wind. What the hell? <laughs> it's that, it's yeah. It, it's the wind. Sorry, Vega. I don't want to take anything away from you, but yeah, it's you don't kick that far. It's a touchback, basically, and uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's how far they kick in the NFL. Maybe Should it's maybe the wind. Ship him off to the states. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. His kids won't be happy. No, they won't. Yeah. So we're basically, I yeah, we don't know, but it's like Think maybe five seconds have left. One play. Yeah, one Could play or something. Hail Mary here. So this is something that the Vikings also do if you pay attention. Number five is in a cornerback. Yes. They like to do that with the, or, uh, the Oslo Vikings did that actually the last year in the finals, put him in a corner, and it resulted in him having a pick six. Yeah, it's true. Because he has a uh, great sense of the ball, so the ball so on both sides. So, so the DBs can play really soft and way, yeah. way over the top. Yeah, this they is, I mean, if he sees the ball coming this way, he's going to cut in front of the receiver. Yeah, they're taking in the... Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's halftime right there. It's um, let's go over to the to the other camera. So that's halftime. All right now. And um, shout out to our sponsors once again. So. Uh, Wang, Ren, Idrisutöver, Revisionsbyrå, CC West, Billy, Vasco Ren, so the growth of the game. Yeah, helping this, uh, put this stream together. Or helping the Vikings basically in general, so um, yeah. So uh, what do you think Kay. also? It's good, uh, good first half. Interesting, uh, or a very <laughs> uh, action-filled game yeah it's yeah good. it's good uh, good first half yeah very good what do you think i'm impressed i'm impressed the vikings have shown some um some uh, really good stuff here now mm -hmm. basically uh a lot of touchdowns they had a special teams touchdown they had a lot of stuff that uh looks really good mm -hmm. so um yeah i'm impressed number five is impressing me it looked like uh the the Copenhagen Towers last weekend actually they've scouted him a lot, so they uh, they knew what they were uh, looking for. Yeah, and I uh, but I I'm also going back to that game. It felt like the the Vikings didn't. I mean they couldn't get anything going. Yeah. Uh, or I mean their run game was pretty good, but I think I feel like this this time they're coming back uh, more prepared, and it seems like they're I mean they're getting warm now, and uh, I mean. Everything seems to be clicking for Vikings right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I think that uh, the Seahawks got a got a, a Viking team that is coming off a pretty tough loss, and they seem to be really, really eager to come out here and prove uh, just what kind of football they can play. But yeah. at the same, and uh, yeah, what do you think about the the Seahawks? I like the passes they've completed but right now they have no established run game and they, they can't rely no. on it yet no. No. they've had some attempts on handoffs some read option fakes that actually resulted in the touchdown and QB keep on the right side yeah. 
which which is really good. But they have to rely on more than just number twelve, number four, and uh, and some receivers. So um, so for the Hawks, it's basically it, it it's hard when you're under uh, by by uh, by so many points. It's basically a four score game now yeah. or a three score game. Yeah. Uh, so they have to score a lot. Many. Maybe uh, they just dis disregard the run anyway, so and just try and try and go down the field as quickly as possible and score as much as possible. Yeah, that didn't seem to be their game plan in the beginning, anyways, because uh, I mean they uh, yeah, they seem to be comfortable just keeping the ball in uh, number 12's hand and just uh, letting yeah, him rip. Quick. Yeah, yeah, quick passes and uh, yeah, let's see. I'm kind of kind of eager to see what if they're gonna show some different looks coming out of the half. Basically, on defense, they have to do a better job. Basically, they have yeah. to stop the 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 posts over the middle to number yeah. two. Yeah. They have to stop the fades on the outside to number five. And the issue is that you might not be able to stop them both at once. So, I mean, play uh, three deep maybe. Yeah. Have I don't know, yeah. yeah. Don't mind the short passes because that's not where they uh, they get beat. They get beat on the deep passes. So so play softer maybe. Play off. Uh, play deep to short. Have a guy just a roamer in the middle may maybe. Free roll way, way, way back, which can uh, intercept the ball. Or at least give a hit to the uh, receiver. Because so, most of the time they're untouched, and that's a problem. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, basically... Tidy up on defense and uh, and uh, get the wheels going on offense for uh, yeah. for the Osana and uh, yeah. for the Vikings part. What do you think? Just keep doing what they're doing, or uh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it seems to be. I'm at this point. I I would expect them to be running really heavily, which yeah. I mean, uh, that, that you don't need to. That that says itself when they're up by four points or four scores, but. Um, yeah, I want to see something from the. I want to see the Seahawks just uh, their passing game clicking more. I mean, it, ha it has been clicking, and I, I just want to see number 12 rip it the second yeah, half. Yeah, yeah. Let's see this number Lucky. 12 go off. Take that would wheels. be fun. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like the American running back last weekend, which just went crazy. Yeah. Let's see that from number 12 yeah. and then uh, maybe have a game. Any thoughts on the Hawks O line? From uh, Ari Stenschletten. I, I I mean they've done a ro lot of rollouts and but they've done a great job when he was in the pocket. Yeah. Only yeah. Um, only when he actually tried to scramble out or step up in the pocket that's when they got him. So yeah. So initially maybe the first one to two seconds of the of the play is really good on the O line. They seem to be, <coughs> and they uh, I mean they seem to be handling the the. The Vikings D line, uh, pretty good. I I know for a fact that they've uh, the Vikings have been struggling a little bit with personnel on the D line, so that could mean that maybe they're having a harder time putting pressure. Yeah. But they seem to be. I mean, they have they have some big guys, the Seahawks on the on the O line. So uh, yeah. And they seem to be able to to have that under control. Yeah, it's but quite, I, quite good. I mean, uh, as you said too, we wanted to, we would have liked to see more, more running from the Seahawks, but I don't yeah. think that I, I don't think that's a, that's a result of them not having a good O line. I just think that's a result of them having a, an American quarterback and just deciding to throw more with him. Yeah. I mean, to use him, because uh, I mean, why would you? Import a quarterback and not use him. That seems. Yeah, yeah, stupid. yeah. If you were commenting earlier, American quarterback, you're throwing five and outs. Let's see those fades. Let's see those yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. see American yeah. plays. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically. We want to see him chuck it, and I think yeah. that's what he's going to be doing this uh, second half. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Hawks D line. I'm not too impressed yet. They're getting pushed around, and uh, especially up the middle on the outside with when they have the linebackers as well, really well. That pinch blitz is really good but it it looks like in the middle that's where they're struggling at the moment yeah. maybe play a little lower dig in more and then uh, uh, maybe something will change on that so but they yeah. yeah they should have a hard time with it too because uh, 
Uh, on the Oslo Vikings side, uh, they have decided to go with an offensive lineman in port this year. Uh, in uh, in uh, what's his name, number 69, Dominic de Sousa. And uh, I'm pretty sure that he's coming with a lot of knowledge and uh, expertise, and he's. Mm. I'm sure that he's been uh, teaching the guys some uh, some good tricks. And now uh, we also have, um, um, yeah, we have. I mean, we have some good guys, and we we have an established run. Yeah. So they should be struggling. That's that's what I'm. Yeah. Trying to get to. So uh, it, yeah, I think we're gonna take a small break now yeah. and. Uh, the game, uh, the second half was starting um, in 12 minutes. So we're going to put it on the scoreboard. It's halftime. It's 35 to 7. The Vikings are in the lead right now. We're going to, uh, yeah, have a little break, about 10 minutes. We'll be back. And uh, feel free to use the chat. Feel free to chat with each other. Chat to us. We'll read it, and uh, if you have any shout-outs, anything you'd like us to say to the players after game, anything like that, feel free. Uh, <laughs> we'll make it. We'll make it happen. So, yeah. Uh, okay. See you guys in uh, ten minutes. Yes.
Yes, guys, and we are back. We are back. We ate some cake. We drank some coffee, some uh, Coca-Cola. We yeah. had I've, a great I've time. I've spiked mine with, mine with gin, but uh, I'm oh. not going to tell anyone. Yeah, it's, this is a late game. It's actually half to seven yeah. at night. It so, is. So, uh, yeah. It's very nice. Get it on. <laughs> <laughs> Kay. Yeah, so it's no longer half time, right? Half time, yeah. There you go. So it's uh, third quarter. Yes, first down, and the uh, Seahawks are lined up to return to return the ball. Play some Avicii. Sad that he passed away. Huh. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, that's, it, that's, that's yeah. Gonzo is Rest Swedish, so uh, <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Died very young, 28. Yeah. From what I heard, he had uh, issues with alcohol. Yeah, that's too bad. So cheers to that. And here's a coffee. Oh. Thank you. Okay, and we have kickoff. Oh, number 15 gets the ball. Number 18. Juke. Go Juke. Inside. Bounce on outside, inside, outside. Gets tackle. Oh, he drops the ball. Was he oh. down? No, he wasn't down. But yeah, they they, uh, down, didn't they they called it. <laughs> so nice uh, hit by number thirty-one, Johannes Heidal. Yeah, Cole Robbins. Hello from Colorado, USA. Hello, oh, Colorado. Hello. Nice to be able to tune in to some. <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, good. Um, Norwegian American football from Colorado. Good, good time uh, to watch uh, football in Europe, actually, for the U.S. Wa uh, watchers. Yeah. Yeah, what 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 time is it? It's like uh, it's like ten. Yeah, no, uh, it's like twelve or one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, it is six six hours behind. Yeah, switch up, lines up to throw. It lines up really tight. Yeah, other screen side. pass beats one guy. Oh. Adam gets beat that's on the outside. That's Jukes that's on the inside. Wow, that's quite a oh. game number four. We were talking about that's it. Great job. There's that number four, yeah. I, I, I think we're going to see a lot more from him this uh, this second half. Uh, I, I, oh, we have it down the Viking. I want to see that connection more because that guy looks like he has a lot of speed. Yeah. Number 47 is uh, down. That's is down. Yeah, for injury. That's too bad. Looks like a foot. Looks like Adam. So coming out just like uh, we were talking about, uh, just the way we wanted it to just have uh, have him chuck it the entire game from now on. Yeah, it's a great pass to number two. So what they did is they had a doubles left side, but they stacked them really tight. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Adam's walking off. It looks like he's okay. A little ding. <laughs> a little dent. Yeah, so, I know. Uh, yeah, for uh, people that were asking about number 21, too, seems like he has not dressed up for the second half of the game and he is on the sideline in just his jersey. Yeah, Very unfortunate from uh, coming off his uh, past per performance this last week uh, where he played very good. Yeah. Okay, the Vikings seem to have... Quick drop pass, oh, left go. side, right side, I mean. There's number no 15 gets tackled. Oh. Swallow, gain of two. They've put in number 14, uh, Hovard Gundesa on the corner. The Vikings. Seems like maybe they can be switching on some person and now when they are a little bit ahead. Yeah, it's uh, oh Hawks no. number 28, Pedersen, injured. He did not travel to Oslo. That's what I heard. So uh, perhaps he's injured, yeah. Second down now. Oh 
High pass, throws the oh. fit, quick fit. Uh, yeah, incomplete pass. Number 15. So, uh, looks like the chat is uh, quite dead at the moment. Let's see if... Uh, So we have 88 people watching right now. Give back the timeouts to each team. You are correct. That is my bad. That is my bad. Good, uh, good spot there, Thomas. You should uh, join us. <laughs> <laughs> you can be responsible for hired. the timeouts. Yeah, you were hired, man. I, <coughs> I trips left, tight to the right side. No. Flag on the plate. I want to see number 83 go on a couple of routes again. I saw him run one before. Yeah. Very big guy. See what happens. I would like to see what happens when if he can maybe what? run a little fade there from the tight end position. Yeah. So that's the third delay of game penalty this game. Yeah. They have to hurry. Get on the line. Snap the ball. Basic. Five step drop, looks left side, gets chased. Number 91 number is. 15 there, no? Oh, gets the pass away. It's too short for the first down. There is that number 83. Because, and uh, yeah, he was lined up. Or he was actually covered there by number six on the Vikings. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I guess I got what I asked for. Give back the timeouts. Interesting game. Well, Polish second league stream got 70 viewers right now. So we're beating them. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. 83 on the Seahawks is Jeruen Kios. I'm having trouble uh, pronouncing that name. but uh, yeah. yeah. Wing right. They're going for this fourth down. Oh, they're looking. They're looking for offside. Oh, that's again. another penalty. Yeah, they, they try, try to, to try draw them offside. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's a shout out here. Shout out to Ola's men, which plays against Kolbot Nimora. Oh. Vikings win today, they say. Yeah, shout out to uh, Ola's men. Yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting that game. Kolbot mot, uh, mot, uh, mot mm -hmm. Yeah, that's quite interesting. It's not as interesting as Fredrikstad versus uh, Sarsborg, but it, it's it's quite close. <laughs> and it's out of bounds. The punt is out of bounds. Quite decent punt. Oh. So, um, yeah, number 11 punt at that time. Looks like they changed the punt there, actually. The second, the first punt was number 83, I think. Yeah, that was 11 punting, yeah. right? Hmm. Bigger guy. Only Polish commentary, but checks the quality. What? Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alfuno. Yeah, sorry about that. So it's first down to the Vikings. Yeah, Os Oscar Carlson, they have had a lot of completions, actually, and some runs for over 10 yards. So it's not all bad. They've had quite... A lot of good plays also. Yeah, up the middle, Gilfager, number seven. Middle. Two chips. Oh, he's on the second level. Gets a block, number five blocks him. Is it in the back? No, it's not. Oh. Gets caught from behind, number seven. Oh, there but there's a the oh. flag. Is it after Could the play? Been, it did look like a uh, block in the back. There. Number five. What a run. Yeah, great run there. No, there's no flag. Okay. Yeah, they, sometimes the flags just fall out of the pockets <laughs> of these uh, Norwegian refs. Probably he's maybe thought he saw something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, last weekend we actually had a peak viewers on our stream of about 300 guys or and girls all around the world. So, uh oh. Going yeah. to number 82, Bjorn like Sufa. Awesome, you guy. Yeah. 
False start on the offense there. So Vikings are uh, pushed back five yards. Yeah, so we had 300 viewers at peak last um, last weekend. So uh, we're doing about 100 today. So it's it, it's quite nice. We don't really care um, how many watches it. Um, just that it's available, basically. So you can go and watch it whenever because it gets saved to YouTube. So uh, um, that's the best part. The yeah. players also like to watch it after the game. Oh, good block there, number seven. Gets there a cup block. Number 10 Take runs off. it to himself. Is he a bounce? It, oh, he doesn't want to dive no. for the touchdown. Oh, yeah, he's out of bounds. Great job, yeah. Mehmet. Yeah, that's good for 20-yard run yeah. for the Vikings. Good job. Number 7, Vega, with the exceptional cup block. Just <laughs> annihilated that all, outside Kenny. linebacker. Yeah, wow. Kick, field goals. Kickoffs, run. Yeah, he's. Maybe we should uh, put him on defense. Pocket Hercules. Okay, let's go. It's trips, right? Probably gonna see uh, pass it right side. Yeah. No, it's a screen oh. left side. Oh, oh but it doesn't go. catch the ball. Gets. Oh, the sun. Yeah, blame yeah. the sun. Gets in trouble there. But yeah, that, I mean that, that that could have been a factor. He was pointing to his uh, face mask as to indicating that the sun was in his eyes. That he yeah. And uh, the sun is actually behind right now, so that's <laughs> guess unfortunate. Uh, so shout out to you guys for making it in English. Pleasure to watch and listen. Yeah. Thanks. Y yeah, yeah. Thanks. We had a we had a discussion about that if we were gonna take it in English or Norwegian. Yeah. Pass, oh, left side, <gasps> jukes. Oh God. Oh, guess, oh God. does it get caught? Yeah. No, it's his no. second touchdown there. Touchdown Vikings. Touchdown. Great job, Martin Fugge. Yeah, he gets that inside cut. It's like, it's like textbook. Every time yeah. he gets the ball, he does that. Yeah. Because he anticipates the guy coming from the inside to, to catch him. And, uh, and he's, yeah. so, he's so uh, shifty. I mean, you can... Uh, uh, that's uh, uh, that's gotta be so tough as a defensive player right there. Yeah. Especially when you have him in uh, an open space like that. Yeah. So we have a forty bomb at the moment. Yeah. Good job, Vikings. <laughs> Leave it all <laughs> on the field. Yeah. That was. Uh, yeah. Good. Good drive there for the Vikings. Yeah. <coughs> So we're on the uh, third period right now, and uh, it's going to be a kickoff. And the Seahawks are lined up to return this. Let's see if they can uh, catch a break here on special teams. <coughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's, that was a tough drive because it doesn't seem like they're, they're – it doesn't seem like they can uh, stop them on the ground and in the air. So I, uh, I kind of want to – I, I want to see something more from the Seahawks here, but it seems like they're just getting run over by this yeah. point. Yeah, hat trick for Martin. Yeah, that's my bad. That's his, actually his third touchdown. You guys are right. The viewers are always right. Oh. So, uh, hat trick, yeah, that's quite Great a game. day for him. Yeah. Very impressed he's by what uh, he's shown yeah. so far. It's been uh, <coughs> it's a very dedicated uh guy on and off the field been uh, focusing on a lot hard or hard on training and uh, and get him getting himself prepared for this season so it's uh, nice to see that it's paying off yeah very good job so the ball flew out the tee again so um, and there's a question in the chats stream ready Vikings to coin swing anymore we are not streaming that game yeah unfortunately, unfortunately not but uh, they might have some setup on their own, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Um, the best thing is to come and view it at Frogne if you're able. But yeah. uh, no, we're not going to do the stream, unfortunately. Martin is the Juke King from Eddie Rodriguez. <laughs> I, I'll, t I'll tell him that after the game, and yeah. I'll mention your name. That <laughs> that's uh, the Juke King. 
you. Yeah, he'll probably be like hearing that. He'll like that. <laughs> he'll, he'll like that. No hurdles so far this game. Yeah, that's quite disappointing. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting some hurdles from Mark. Oh, we'll good pass well outside, nice. number four, one on one. There's that number four again. Oh, reaches oh. for it. Yeah, same play. They keep going to it. Yeah, seems. I mean, I mean, it is. It is working. He's. Uh, yeah. Just want to see him, like, break one tackle and then take off. Yeah, it's possible he'll do that. Okay, number four on the right side. The quarterback's favorite way to throw. Gets a block. Another number one. fifteen. Decided Good block. So number four. Gets pushed out of bounds oh yeah. by Brood. Yeah, <laughs> he's... They seem yeah. to have a little bit of a uh, thing going yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Brood uh, lost uh, extra t uh, curricular activities on the field. <laughs> he likes uh, talking smack. Yeah. So it's a uh, new first down for the, for the Seahawks. Good job. They keep going to See. that quick uh, rocket pass and no, uh, laser passes up, uh, on the left and right side. Four and fifteen on the same side here. What? Another. That's another. Good block. Number four keeps it in nice. bounds. Is down for a new first down. Wow! Great job again. This guy is uh, number four. When he gets the ball, he gets some yards yeah. always. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's um, Truls Hansen. From Osana Siok. Good job. Yeah, and uh, Jakob Galle is Wang. 28 Vikings not playing. That's correct. But I think Wang I saw him. Yeah, he's suited up. He's suited up, but Have you I, I haven't seen him on the field. I'm not sure if he's struggling a little bit with some uh, injuries. Yeah. I don't have the. Incomplete pass, by the way. Back. I, I really wonder why they're throwing uh, quick outs and uh, flat passes when uh, they're under by 35 points. Yeah. Yeah, they need to get touchdowns here. So. Um, I mean, if if he can take away on take take off on one of them, uh, that could possibly. Oh, oh, nice fake, good here. run. Look. Mauricio Middle. Salazar. Nice for, nice for the linebackers on the Vikings to get yeah. something, get some work. Yeah, his name is Mauricio Esteban Rojas Salazar. Oh. I don't want to... I don't want to fuck with that guy, basically. <laughs> that sounds... Uh, Is he... Yeah, he's yeah. Norwegian. What? Norwegian. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe. He's got a Spanish name, but. Yeah. Oh, there's a flag. Oh, Is a it flag. a late hit? I think that was going to 83. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, it looks like he got hit low when he was blocked. Hmm. Maybe legal scissor block. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Wang is not um, playing. Yeah, it's a good drive. Yeah, you're sure. Holding. Offense. That's too bad. That's oh 10 yeah, yards that's back. Uh, it was third and five, and now it's third and 15. So um, it's unfortunate now when they seem to be able to start to get get some get something going, and then uh, this just kills the momentum. That's yeah, very unfortunate to see. Okay, so um, number 15 lined up against number 14 here, safe. So uh, yeah. Dylan is it a fade? Yeah. Runs the fade. It. Does he get tackled from behind? Yes, oh. he does. Oh, that's a great Think 10 and out route. Is that ball maybe going to 15 and number 19 Ca caught, caught it. under it? Yeah. I don't know. So at that number 19, Ali Muhammad or Muhammad Ali, almost. That uh. might be the coolest name uh, on the <laughs> roster. That's pretty nice. Mauricio is of Chilean descent. Oh, wow, cool. There you go. There Chile. you go. It's a cool name. Yeah. Salazar. And he's been playing uh, in Bergen for 
quite a while. Okay. Wow. I remember playing him uh, at U19, actually. I believe he played for the um, uh, Badian Storm before. Well I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, so he's been in the league for a uh, for Yeah, for, for many years. Oh. Yeah. It's Muhammad Ali. Really? Wow. Then uh, there you go. Then that name is the coolest today. Yeah, he wins the name award. Yeah, names award uh, goes to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Number 19. <laughs> So the Vikings have a first down. We're in the third quarter still. Oh, JJ with the Hand off good handoff. Gets tackled low, but doesn't go down. Nice hit there by number 55. Again, Paul Alexander Fossum having a very good game, a linebacker. Yeah, he is. Uh, I remember playing with him. He's really yeah. reliable. Yeah. He's in the. He's basically in the gym for uh, for eight months and then four months of football. Wow. Yeah, he's strong. Well, seems to be paying off on the field. That's. Yeah. Nice to see. In uh, Trondheim, he uh, used to lift the most at the gym, out of anyone. Big handoff, screen pass. Number two Comes is caught from behind, but there's a flag. Caught from behind by number 55. Yeah, that's Paul Alexander again. Yeah, shout out to him. Mauricio started as junior at Seahawks U19, then moved to Storm as Seahawks didn't have a U19 program. Wow, oh. the more you know. You I go. thought he started at, um, at Storm, but uh, yeah, I was mistaken. Uh, yeah. Wow. And uh, Muhammad Ali also happened to be one of the coolest guys on the team as well. Oh, nice. There you go. Coolest really name, like that coolest name. guy. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, yeah. I yeah. mean, if your last name is Ali and you get a son, why not? Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's my bad on the flag there. So second down. I believe the flag was on the Vikings. Yeah, sorry for uh, delaying the graphics here, but it's all uh, controlled uh, manually by us. So, all right, let's see. Let's see some passes here. The wind is oh, fake pass. Throws oh. the fade, but gets tackled. Oh. That's a penalty right there. Number Holy crap. That out. just lays out the receiver. He does not want to get beat deep. I Holy crap. That's uh, <laughs> a very <laughs> weird decision <laughs> by number 16 there. but I. <laughs> that's, the, no. that's the most insane Don't thing I've <laughs> seen. A DB just lays out the wide receiver. I think he was able to measure out those five yards that you're allowed to contact the receiver <laughs> there. <laughs> Seemed to be a little that bit was deeper a than tackle. five yards. <laughs> Way before it was but, thrown. Uh, seems like what? They're, uh, and there's no they're flag. Waving it off. Oh, oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. I guess that's one way to take care of the receiver. Yeah, just tackle him and uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think in the chat? What was that? Okay. Five step drop. Looking right. Oh. Throws it over in the middle to number five. Catches it. Dukes one, two oh. guys. Gets caught from behind, but it's a first down. The guy just ran into the other guy. That's too bad for uh, yeah. the Seahawks. Yeah, Ivan uh, Kleppester there, number one. Matthias Kleppester, my bad, not Ivan. The swag player, he's, uh, he had an opportunity to really kill number five there, or missed, oh. hit his own player, too bad. Yeah. So it's first down. Oh, good draw. Oh, and they fall for it. Oh, 
and he gets about eight yards right in front of us. Thank you, JJ. There's that was a good design draw. Yeah, fool, even fooled me. I mean, that's not yeah. that hard, but. You had to push the O-line upfield, yeah. <laughs> and the O-line missed his block. <laughs> but do you really see how hard it is to take down yeah. number 22 when you have three guys already tied up on him, and there's no way he's going down. Yeah, they're playing NFL or car, uh, college rules. So college rules, yeah. yeah. IFAF. IFAF rules is basically college rules. So, uh, yeah, it's stuff like you can't have a – Colored visor and stuff, and they yeah. stop the uh, stop the clock on first down. A yep. uh, handoff up the middle, lines oh. up with two running backs. Gets a first down. Very nice field there by number seventy coming in. Yeah, yeah. So there's some differences uh, in in uh, yeah college and NFL. So, so if you catch the ball for a first down and you're down, or you yeah your knee touches the ground or your ass or your elbow then uh, the ball's dead right there. You can't get up and run. I, I think. Feel free to correct me there. Erik Jonsson, lots of great stuff from the Vikings offense today. How come you're not on the field, Christian? Uh, Cause I'm here and I, <laughs> <laughs> they need, you know, they need a, a commentator. Oh. So yeah, get stuff there. Good defense. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I like to be on the field, but uh, I also like to uh, to contribute in different ways. So, yeah. Are you playing uh, Erik Jonsson? Are you playing um, for, uh, is it Tromsø you're playing for this uh, season? I, I can't remember. I think uh, I think that's right. Trailblazers. Tromsø Trailblazers. So second down. One, two, three. Three step drop from Shaket. Oh, gets. Oh, sending gets some pressure. Drag down. 51 from the Seahawks. Avin Kalster gets a sack. Wow. Avin Kalster. Yeah. Great job. He and Avin um, Kalster and uh, Matthias Kleppester, they've, uh, I, I believe they're friends and they've. Any uh, games, Eirik? So, uh, yeah, that's I believe that's one of the northern teams, Tromsø Trailblazers, and it was quite a quite a quite interesting when uh, the teams in the north of Norway started appearing, and that some teams had to travel quite a distance, and uh, and the guys in the north had to travel a lot to play anyone because they had no one that was kind of close like hmm. and also you have basically three teams which are close maybe four yeah so uh yeah they're down also vikings oh, oh. free play free play gets the fade <laughs> oh that's too bad to number 15 nice free play by number 26 yeah Ivan is the same batch as Mauricio. Matias is of storm descent. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. Helt drott med denne streamen. Shout out to hele Oslo Vikings. Alle på tribunen og hjemme i sofaen vet at han ser det kommer. Og også se på dette hjemme. Så, så uh, skist i han. <laughs> ja, smilefest. Ja, Homer, ja. Han er, han er veteran i Oslo Vikings. En god gjeng. Og uh, Nikolai Knudsen. Yeah. He's uh, he's doing the speaker uh, role for yes. today because Gatte is not here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. 
Just still throw down. Drifts right. Let's see. A three step drop. Oh, oh in the middle. Let's nice grab it. Oh. Oh, gets hit. Good hit there by number 20. Coming yeah. in with the f from the safety position with a great stop. Yeah. To number five, Eric Ford gets a first down over the m like in the middle of everything. Yeah. That's uh, that's not where I we're used to seeing him. So no. But uh, yeah, sometimes he he comes running over there in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, lines up in the slot now. Looks like it's uh, one on one. Yeah. Cover two, maybe. Yeah, cover two. Throws the quick out. Oh. <coughs> Pass to number 82 on the Vikings. Yeah. Bjorn Eike Sofa. Yeah, good call. I think that's his first catch of the game. Yeah, sadly, we don't have any plays plans for streaming this year. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's quite all right. Yeah, it's uh, not all the teams in even the elite division has, has it yet, but we're trying to make it easier and uh and uh cheaper to actually stream so it's it's basically just a few components you need to get a stream going ha looks like a handoff there we go. screen pass good juke number 15 rounds two guys oh. jukes third guy gets pushed oh. wow gain of like 20 yards all the way down to the one yard line maybe yeah so uh, Oscar Carlson, Nikolai Oshlaksen, yeah, that's right. It's uh, Nikolai Oshlaksen is uh, yes. ca he's casting the game. He's oh. uh, he's a guy that played in uh, NFL Europe back in the day. Hall he's of Fame uh, running back, or he's in the uh, uh, Norwegian American Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, one of the best uh, running backs of all time in Norway. So some people say that um, if he was born in the U.S., he would uh, play in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> uh, he's an uh, impressive character. St I think he's at what, like age 45, and he's still playing hockey on, uh, on an amateur level. But I mean, he's still going strong. And if you just, I mean, if you just see him out in the stands and just touch him, it's like feels like he's made out of like rock. Yeah. Yeah, it's still true. at 45 years of age, still looks like he could play football any day. Yeah, so uh, so coach when you see him, go go up to him and touch him. Yeah, hard is yeah. a rock. So uh, coach B67 says, by the way, you started the broadcast mentioning that Vikings Elite Series opener, Harvard. It is also the Seahawks Elite Series opener. Oh yeah. Yeah, I uh, yeah you're right. Their second division team has played two so far. Yeah, that's uh, my mistake there. So uh, we're into the fourth quarter now. And yes. um, 42-7 to the Vikings. Yeah, there hasn't been any, there hasn't been a lot of action this uh, third quarter. No, the team seemed to be, I mean, the Vikings seem to just uh, wanted to a little bit more control, and I was expecting the Seahawks to come out uh, more aggressively, but they've been seem to be playing a little bit conservative too. The Vikings are in uh, their full house package again. Two yeah. linebackers in there as blockers, but Kim Eric Shanning, number six, actually takes the ball, and he is in for a touchdown. Is it? I think that's Kim Eric Koning's first yeah. rushing, rushing touchdown of his career. So that's, uh, that's a nice thing to add to your resume. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a linebacker. Impressive. Then. That is a linebacker. That is the Oslo Vikings starting Mike linebacker. Yeah, wow. So, uh, so, coach so congratulations to him. Yeah. Wow. I know he's going to wear that with pride. Yeah, and it's good. Here he comes, trotting off. Look at him. A big guy. 49 to 7 right now. Yeah. 
It's quite a lead. So, uh, Coach B67 says here that Nikolai, NFL World League, pre NFL Europe, uh, Ray League, Durham Skyhawks. Mm. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe you should uh, come and join us here in the Castro booth. <laughs> Everybody's invited. Okay, sort of. Yeah, can can you uh, coach B67? Are you the guy that does the Seahawks uh, streaming? Just out of curiosity, uh, out of your picture, <laughs> you just look like the guy, um, perhaps. Look at that smug bastard. Yes, look at that guy. That's uh, number six. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Oscar Carlson, number 11, supporting us from the London. Actually just got a Oslo Vikings tattoo on his uh, calf. So a true supporter. Of yeah, but isn't there a number Viking 11 team. on the field uh, today? There is. He seems to have been replaced. Squib kick. Number 33 catches it. 93, I mean. Oh, oh gets down. What well, a good return yeah. to the 40. Tripped up there by. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Look, there you go. Coach B67. He's the guy that streams for the Seahawks. Oh, well. There you, there go. you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like your stream, and I like... Uh, the nice. fact that you know a lot about the Norwegian uh, football league and uh, yeah. the history of it, so yeah. we're kind of fresh. I, I mean, kind of fresh. I've been around since 2009, yeah. 2010, but um, that's not as long as you, uh, I think. Second down. I would expect the Vikings to make uh, some... Um, Changes in the personnel now on defense. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Never replaced. What about my tattoo? I actually have a tattoo with Oscar's name on it. <laughs> For anybody that's interested. Nobody is Oscar, so shut your mouth. Okay, <laughs> so the CX are Second down looking. Here. Oh, is it a run? They're actually yeah, running. it's a run. Wow, good stop there by the Vikings. Yeah. I mean, their uh, interior, I think, have been just <laughs> waiting to get something uh, to hit. Yeah. They have some uh, some uh, some good players here on the line. And at linebacker, they are <laughs> just looking for some work. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, they line up in trips left. They're going to pass the ball here, probably. See if they can get a uh, first down. Bad snap. Oh, oh and he gets down. sacked in the backfield uh, for a loss of about like a 10 yards. Family sack there. Yeah, wow. Led by number 91, Petter Frausing. Very, very promising uh, player that uh, has come up from uh, our youth uh, teams and uh, started playing with uh, the big boys yeah. very early on. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's around 18 years old and he's been with us for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for the for uh, that coach, uh, B67. That uh, yeah, we're all uh, trying to make streaming better here in Norway, so. Very nice. Wow, what a punt. That's a Does great punt. Let's see. Does yeah, he juke number, number one? Five. No, oh. he slips. Very nice what coverage, coverage there by, by, uh, number, by one. number one. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Uh, good job there, Matthias. He was expecting, uh, expecting f number five there to try to juke him out and just play it patiently. That's very impressive. Pette will play U19 this autumn, so that should be fun to watch. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, looks like uh, Homer is also watching. Always a great number six at Vikings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have a new quarterback in for the Vikings, and we have 
two number flags on the field also. Looks like a personnel number problem. Number nine, Henrik Heliason. Our uh, backup QB. Backup quarterback. Had an unfortunate injury last year where he broke his foot at the beginning of our season and uh, that kept him out for the remainder of that season. But he has been working hard and uh, he's back on the field. Yeah, good. Fun to see. Let's see what he can do here. It's quite interesting. Yeah. <coughs> Hand off. Left side. Oh, and oh. we have a backup running back also. Oh. oh but he runs so high. Go. But, yeah, he gets the first down. Wow. Quick feed, number nice, 23. Nice hit there by number 20 on the Bart Seahawks. Viren. Bart Viren, yeah. Yeah, so that Henrik to Bart. Yeah, great job. Good blocks from the O-line also. Okay, let's see what number nine has in store for us. And off oh. fake, but he drops the ball. Oh, seemed to be some sort of <laughs> miscommunication there between the <laughs> number nine and the running back. Oh. Yeah, some. Uh, yeah, that's too bad, but uh, gets the ball anyways. Yeah. Second and thirteen. Can't expect the Vikings just to try to run the clock out here, right? Yeah. I'd like to see Nothing some passes from uh, number nine, though. Yeah. <coughs> I would, too. See what he can do. His arm. He passes. There we go. Oh, little number pass five. on the outside. Number five. Stays in bounds. Oh, boy. Oh, but he's out of bounds. Oh, the referee takes a fall. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, he ran over the ref, but uh, no, <laughs> no penalty. I think, the, I think he just lost his feet there. Yeah. <laughs> Gets uh, called out here on the field, too. That's uh <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't expect everyone to hold yeah, Eric Ford's speed. That's funny. Yeah. And off the oh, Bart. Bounces it to the outside. Look He's on the open go. field. Bounces it to the oh. outside, but falls. Trips. Trips in his own feet. Bart Vereen. Yeah. He's fast. He's got some uh, quick feet. Got some speed on him. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like his feet is really moving fast. Yeah. Second and seven to go. <laughs> drop back, three step drop. There we go. Throw the Sing it. Into yes. cover two, but the safety is not there, so they yeah. get a completion. Great job. Number 15 with the catch. He had a DB right behind him, which could have nailed him. But uh, fortunately, that didn't happen. No. So we get to see number nine yeah. throw it a little bit. Yeah, That's good fun. Throw. Good throw. Also have a new receiver in number 88, Anthony Maburu. Yeah. Anthony Mukuria. Tall guy. Pay attention to this guy's... Um, to this guy's calves. Very small. <laughs> Almost non-existent. Yeah, but um, still tall guy. So okay, uh, let's see. That was a run. It's second down. It's um, basically trying to run down the clock here. Basically, yeah. 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 So uh, nothing too fancy. Yeah, I, I'm kind of. I'm kind of missing some uh, swag on number nine. No biceps bands, no gloves, no, no uh, wrist coach, no uh, hand warmers. Yeah, no, uh, nothing. He's yeah, going no with nothing. The going with a clean look. Yeah, it's quite uh, quite interesting uh, yeah. call. 
I know we. I know he's. Uh, oh, it's full oh. start. Yeah, it's a flag. I know he's a big fan of uh, working arms in the gym, so I would expect some. Uh, would expect some bedazzling, but no. Yeah, maybe he's uh, just keeping it clean. Maybe he's getting yeah, a tattoo going later. With a clean look. Yeah, maybe getting a touchdown tattoo. He can't <laughs> touchdown tattoo. On his triceps. Yeah, he should. False start on the Vikings, by get the way. Some, get some tribals in those arms. Yeah. Number oh. four is in on offense. Number Are they going house package here? 88 King. 88 gets Replaced. tapped out. Uh, Let's see what they do here. Probably got to go back to the drawing board with those caps. Where's number four? Lines up as a tight end. Huh. Let's see. That's his old uh, position. <laughs> no, he's actually playing linebacker. Yeah. Or now he's playing tight end. Yeah. Left tight end. But uh. Pass over oh. the middle. Seems open. He's oh. oh, overthrows oh, number 15. Fun. That's too bad. Yeah, number four wanted it there. Yeah. He's also maybe a little bit jealous at number six after his rushing touchdown. So he wants to get in there, get a piece. Yeah. Ikke så rart som nummer seks homer. Yeah, that might be true. But uh, yeah, number six uh, is, has always been good in the Vikings. They're switching it up. They're going doubles. Let's see if number 88 can uh, get a ball here. Oh, it's a draw play. Nice. Saw it from a mile away, but it's Very still. nice hit there by number 70. Yeah. It's like... Uh, yeah, that's cr uh, quite interesting. <laughs> Sell on the draw, but let's see if the Vikings could get a uh, 50 bomb here on uh, their first Elite Series game. Yeah. Fourth and 13, and they're going for they're a, kick, a it. kick. See what Bagard has here. Corner route on four. Yeah, Just it was true. Done this a lot of times in practice, and it's. Oh, oh, it hits oh, the upright. No, it hits that. the middle bar and it bounces inside. Oh. <laughs> so it's actually one, two, three points. So it's uh, 52 it to seven, seven right now. Wow. That was a good kick. That was Lucky a good kick, break. Yeah. <laughs> Just got it in. Yeah. So we've seen uh, number four on the offense, Nikolai Foknutsen, doing coaching. Lining up as a tight end, lining up as a, a linebacker. And He's I think done he it played all. a little bit of safety too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, for a guy that's been in the he's been in the game for so long, I don't think there's a position he hasn't played. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know. F yeah. But he's. I mean, he's played football for so long that he's. Uh, he just knows it. it it's. It's from uh, from a guy that's hung out with him for a couple of years, or uh, played with him and coached with him too on the younger level. The guy lives football. That's yeah. that's every he 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 breathes it. Delicious fifty burger has been served. Yes. Thank you guys. Squib kick down the middle, number thirty ninety three again. <laughs> Takes a knee. Takes he a doesn't knee. want. Yeah. I mean that's fair. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Doesn't want to get hit. Doesn't want to risk anything. No. At this point, I think it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't expect to uh, see a lot now. They might run some uh, some things that they've. Uh, yeah. Worked Maybe on. Maybe try or some new stuff. Yeah. Number twelve still in. See him chuck it to number four here. Five step Eternal drop. Line. Drops the fade. Yeah. Oh. Wow, great catch there, number 15. That's what we were talking about, too. Yeah. yeah we wanted to see more, to See him try to challenge this uh, number 17 on those Vikings. Yeah, wow. If they great paid pass. attention to tape from last week, he was not starting corner. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to see from him and uh but we didn't get to see too much of those deep passes. 
Yeah. Great pass, though. Right side. Same pass again. Up in the pocket. Oh. Gets Scrabble. sacked. Oh. Takes a licking from number four. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> a little bit yeah. late there, number four. But, uh, I mean, uh, this is football. You play till the whistle. That's what you got to look. <laughs> I don't really like him running up the middle and then scrambling for those extra yards because when you have number four up there in the middle waiting, yeah, you don't want to give him that extra second to be able to hit you because that's going to hurt. Yeah, yeah, definitely, most definitely. So um, we're, uh, we're not sure the time, clock right now. Yeah, but we're uh, having difficulties with the clock, so we're not... Uh, I would, ex would expect it to be a running clock by now. Yeah. So that's the fourth. Or that's actually the fifth delay of game. One was intentional. They tried to get the offsides, but uh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's 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 basically going too slow. Yeah. They have some uh, great moments, but it's going too slow. So it's second and fifteen. Five step drop. Oh. Drops back. Gets pressured. Oh. Throws a bullet down oh. the middle to number Unfortunate four. Unfortunate there. But yeah. doesn't connect. Looked like he tripped on himself. A yeah. little more tripped on the turf. It's unfortunate. That would have been f number four has some some legs on him. It's yeah, it's true. Good game, Vikings. Eddie Rodriguez. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you. I'll say to the guys also. It's uh Oh, there was actually a flag for holding. Oh, uh, it's still second now. Wow, so 10 yards back. I mean, yeah, at least uh, the Seahawks knows now what they have to work on. Yeah. Hey, from what I know, the Seahawks are a pretty new team. And so the Elite oh. Series, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I mean... Uh, they come in there and do a lot of good things, but uh, I mean, in the end, they. What happened there? Yep. Okay, here Five we go. Five step drop. Chuck it. Holy. Oh! oh. Almost, almost an interception. Almost. Oh, no. Wow. Number four. Number, Number four, four again. <laughs> this guy is everywhere. Yeah. On the sideline, on defense, on offense. On I know, teams. yeah. Yeah. Damn, if, if, I bet that if he caught that, he would have gotten free bear That tonight. could have, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Too bad there. But good job, uh, anyways, Nikolai. Two two minutes, thir thirty seconds left. Yeah. Two minutes, thirty left. Punting it off to number five and see what he can do here with what? the ball. What jukes is out oh. of bounds? Out of bounds. Good job there. His uh, all-purpose yards for number five is quite high today. Yeah. <laughs> He's always uh, somebody you can count on. Yeah. Too. Yeah, he loves playing, so, yeah. He's had a good game. This Timeout. Two-minute warning. Yeah, it's two-minute warning. Two minutes left of the fourth quarter. <laughs> Number 26 in a running back, Desmond Baden. Desmond Baden. Been playing with the Vikings for a lot of years too and went to Stavanger, I think. Yeah. Played with the Bulls for a year and now he's back. All number 15 gets meet, met by three people. Wow. Your defense. 
seems like they are keeping their starters on defense. Yeah, looks like it. But uh, yeah, it it kind of looks like they're a few guys short. So uh, number fifteen, Olav Halsan, Hulland didn't go. Jonas Pedersen didn't come. Håkon Sommer didn't show, and uh, yeah, so they have four few players that missing, yeah. yeah we're missing. Baden up, up the, the middle. Man. Oh, oh get stuff. Blow the whistle. Yeah, it's third down. Good job there. there right, that's been some, yeah. some quick moves. Yeah, he's a very shifty guy. <laughs> the main ref almost gave them the first down for that. <laughs> and when he does, they, he can't go back. So, uh, yeah, good thing. So number 11 on the Vikings, lining up as number two in the receiver. He used to play for Trondheim. Oh. Oh, Desmond, oh. does he get the first Takes down? The Looks like it. That's hit by 51. Yep. So, um, yeah. It's kind of like uh, we're just waiting for the game to be over at this point, basically. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot that Fiox uh, can do now. Yeah, play play the backups, and uh, <coughs> yeah, that's what the Vikings are doing. Eleven lineup is tight end. Good block. Desmond oh. Baden up the middle. Wow, guess a lot of yards. Just like eight yards. That's a great job, man. See, he hasn't been uh, on the field a lot before uh, now. So, yeah, Desmond. No. Yes, and I mean, uh, that's your... Uh, yeah, and it's over. There you go. Congratulations to the Oslo Vikings. First victory, First in, the victory. in the regular series. Nice way to start off the... And, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Hello, guys. It's not timeout, halftime. It's actually <laughs> uh, the game is over. So, uh, yeah, what do you think, Gonzo? Are you happy with what you saw from the from the Vikings today? Yeah, I'm impressed with the Vikings, uh, uh, both on offense and on defense. Uh, seem to be, uh, they seem to have um, cleaned up some stuff from uh, from last week. Maybe that was just rust. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Not being able to connect with the receivers and uh, and on defense not being uh, sharp on uh, containing. But I mean they they uh, did face a, a quite tougher opponent last week in the Danish team. But I yeah I really look like what I see. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. They seem to be a. Uh, I mean, they seem to have. Uh, have shook off that rust and uh, yeah, played a very good game today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I that couldn't agree says more. itself with uh, 52 points. 52 is yeah. a lot even in Norway. Yeah. So uh, great job there on offense, yeah. Vikings, and on defense, it's a lot of third and three and out. Yeah. Just some. Um, yeah. 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 I'm I'm pleased. It 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 kind of it was on the Vikings to win today and yeah. uh, and they showed up. Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, and uh, also to uh, they were a couple of men short. Uh, number forty-four, Andreas Lead, and number twenty-one, Evan Rellis, which are two very important players on the Vikings defense uh, who did not play today, and yeah. they still managed to put on a pretty impressive performance on defense. So I, my hats off to to the Vikings today. They played a really good game. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I agree. Do you want uh, anything else what do to what say? Do you, what do you think about the, the, the Seahawks? They show some good stuff on offense. Th yeah. This they guy, did, yeah. number 12, can throw. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they have to they have to uh, rely on this guy more, and they have to uh, maybe scheme a little better on defense, Yeah. get some more guys. Yeah. Maybe it's Rust. It's their Elite Series uh, Exactly, that. um, that's what I'm thinking start, too. First they Elite Series start, so first game, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what they have in store. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see how they uh, stack up against the other Norwegian teams. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 
But I think uh, we should just uh, call it right now. Yeah. Go have ourselves some beers. So should you. Yeah, you in the camera. You. Oh, okay. yes. Waffles. Oh, yeah, waffles. All right, I guess that's it. Here you go. Oh. I thought I know. Oh, there's not. Yeah, and we got waffles. This yeah. is uh, what you get for uh, <laughs> for casting a game. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching. We're going to be live at next game, and that's... Let me double check that. The next game we are going to stream is... Is the Vikings against the Crusaders next weekend on Saturday, 28th of April. And that's Karlsta Crusaders, right? Yeah. And uh, that's going to be quite a game. That's going to be a game. Too yeah. good for that. So that's going to be European football. We're going to be here again.